But don't you foresee that with um, elections coming up in Malaysia, uh, there could be domestic pressures and politicians being politicians, they could um, react differently, even if they say that, yeah, we will not allow the, the Sabah standoff to get in the way of the peace process or the talks. We are also, also re imagining that, but I do not want to get into <laughs> details. Going back to the issue of decommissioning and probably a new environment post uh, peace agreement, <coughs> um, there are reports that the U.S. military has actually been using its drones to monitor the Abu Sayyaf in Mindanao. What's your stand on that? There are reports that the U.S. military has been using spy planes and actually, and they're there, the, the U.S. forces are in Mindanao. What's the MILF stand vis-a-vis -vis the use of drones, um, spy planes, to track extremists? And would you stand in the way of, of U.S. military presence in Mindanao? I think that issue should be discussed mm -hmm. within the ambit of uh, the Philippine government and the U.S. government because mm -hmm. they have a standing Agreement, the visiting mm -hmm. forces agreement, it should be discussed there. But as, as an to organization, the MILF, I cannot uh, make any comment on that. Mm -hmm. um, because it's a sensitive issue. The, the, um, how how acceptable is U.S. presence in Mindanao to the MILF? Well, they are there under the visiting forces mm -hmm. agreement, and, it and as far as we are concerned, practically there is no problem involving okay. us and the. Uh, the forces of the United States of America in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. They are there on the basis of that agreement. How about the Abu Sayyaf, sir? Uh, do you see um, a potential problem or do you see it as the main obstacle precisely to a peaceful central Mindanao, for example? It is the belief of the MILF, like a man suffering from illness. Mm -hmm. The moment you find the real solution, all the symptoms, all the eggs would uh, disappear. Okay. Yeah, what, uh, what, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. It means that once we find a solution, all these problems, and perhaps including the Abu Sayyaf, would become irrelevant. Mm -hmm. They would fall into place. Because the real solution is there. We <coughs> We have another question from, from social media. This is from Zach Yuson, who's also with Rappler. He asks, how do you translate the high-level talks to the fighters or supporters on the ground? How much voice do they have in the talks? I think uh, until today, we never see a situation where the MILF uh, negotiators have some problems with the people on the ground, including our fighters. Why is this so? Because we see to it that once we decide there is consultation from top to bottom, from top to, uh, bottom to top. That's why as far as the MILF ne negotiation or negotiating team is concerned, we are the most controlled group in the MILF. We have the mandate and within that mandate, that's the only thing we can do is within that mandate. Beyond that, either below or above, we have to go back to the Central Committee. So that's why practically we heard no, no problem as far as our people on the ground, including our combatants on the ground, are concerned. How do you deal with groups who refuse to cooperate or to heed your orders? Well, there is one who refused to throw the line of the map, the VIFF. Yes. So we told them, you cannot throw the line, so go, go ahead, prove your thesis. If you are correct, then at the end of the day, you'll be correct. That's wisdom. <laughs> 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 there are other uh, uh, serious issues here. The issue of taxation, for example. <coughs> um, what are your thoughts on this? As, as, you, as you go there. Uh, local taxation vis-a-vis uh, -vis the piece, um, the new banks and more. That's one of the remaining issues, mm -hmm. wealth sharing. And when you speak about wealth sharing, it's, it is composed of two resources, mm -hmm. natural resources, and taxation. Okay. We already have uh, 
uh, affordable for that. And as far as uh, the two parties are concerned, we have practically settled that. But in a, in a negotiation, we still have that principle of ad referendum. Yes. What does that mean? Uh -huh. Meaning, even if the two negotiators agree already on the draft, yes. but still they can, the principal, meaning the government or the MRF Central Committee, can still review, mm. still review that draft. Because the final say belongs to the principals. So what could be the deal breaker here? So it has to be there has to be a world sharing because mm -hmm. the reality mm -hmm. is that in Mindanao, especially what we call the ancestral domain of our people, everything is being decided by Manila. Mm -hmm. All the natural resources has have been have been the the sole uh, discretion of Manila. Mm -hmm. So we want to have a share of, of this mm -hmm. and that's why uh, we have on the agenda about wealth sharing. But the government is, of course, open also to, to, the, to wealth sharing. That's why we yes. have uh, practically sealed the yeah. deal. But it was not yet signed. So the most difficult part of the remaining phase of the talks is really the issue of normalization. If we can settle the two uh, annexes, mm -hmm. I think it would follow. Although there is really difficulty there, but uh, as I said earlier, sincere partners, committed partners, they can always find a way to do that. Okay. There's another question, sir, um, from again Voltaire Tupas. The 1996 final peace agreement which the OIC brokered is under review <coughs> to resolve disagreements. What would the impact be on the transition? You know the position of the MI -like is to negotiate what is lacking in the 1996 agreement. The other position of the MILF is that the government and the MILF must fully implement the 1996. What we are negotiating are those that are lacking in the 1996 agreement. In other words, the best in the 1996 agreement would be in the framework agreement, in the comprehensive peace agreement. Because Practically only two issues or three issues as far as the MLLF is concerned. They say the, the, the issue of provisional government has to be implemented, has to be, uh, uh, has to be fulfilled. But the problem there is that Ms. Wari already accepted the SPCPD and he had run for governor in the arm. And second, they have not discussed well sharing. The, the other issue is about well sharing. So it's already in the agenda. The transition commission, the transition authority, take the form of a provisional government, mm -hmm. especially the transition authority. See? Yeah. Will you be considering these issues in the transition commission mm -hmm. as you draft the Bangsamoro Basic Law? Yes. Um, in, with the, the 90, 1996 peace agreements and all the issues that have been yeah. left behind, left. Um, unfulfilled, will you be considering that? Basically? Not in a sense of uh, putting there, putting there. Mm -hmm. but the essence of what is good in the 1996 yeah. agreement are already captured in the framework agreement. Mm -hmm. Especially the issue of wealth sharing, power sharing, it's mm -hmm. already there, but we are still negotiating it. While there are economic issues that you have to deal with, considering that um, Mindanao has always been described as um, a land of promise, but um, poverty continues to plague it. There are also other um, socioeconomic issues that are emerging, like drug lords and um, human trafficking, for example. How do you? Is there a vision that you have for this? How do you intend to deal with these very complex problems? You know, at the start of the negotiation, the government and the have agreed to have only one agenda: how to solve the Bangsamoro problem or more correctly put, how to solve the moral question. Mm -hmm. And there are nine issues and concerns. The core of the issue, the core of the problem, uh, nine issues and concerns. Poverty, loss of land, drugs, destruction of properties, violation of human rights, etc., etc. But that, that is not the core of the core, that is not the corest of the core. The corest of the core, self-governance. Give back to our people, to my people, the right to govern themselves. And once we have that real governance in our hands, 
we could settle this problem, not in an overnight situation because these are difficult issues. But once we are empowered, we are very hopeful. We believe that we can solve this problem. Well, you actually started this in Abu Bahar. Uh, yeah, in an action. You, in, it's in, a mini state. It's a, it's a mini state. And, yeah. and looking back, of course, uh, the cap is no longer there. But looking back, what, what lessons could you draw from, from that experience building the community in Abu Bahar? And what could be applied in a larger um, area in Mindanao? People's cooperation is necessary. Mm -hmm. And that cooperation cannot, cannot be realized unless people understand what is in your mind. Okay. So it's the obligation of leader to really put his idea in concrete terms, explain to the people. And in addition to that, let the people understand that the consequence of following this one would be to their advantage. Yeah. So if you establish that kind of uh, uh, idea and uh, and then translated into concrete uh, plans or programs and then they share this they share resort they would follow so would you say the MILF troops are prepared to take that leap in terms of go helping govern the region no no in a negotiation there is a change of relationship and because there is a change of relationship necessarily transformation has to take place and this would also, this would even include our troops, because we are no longer in a combat situation. So what are they doing now? I mean, now that you're holding peace talks, are they? What, what Normal are they? situation. Okay. They farm, they conduct retraining, they, they, they tend their families, etc., etc. Nor in a normal situation. Uh, the academy. The academy, yes. It's normal. What is your vision, say, two years, two, three years from now? What do you want to see after, let's say, assuming that the agreement is signed and uh, things proceed as, as planned? You know, it requires to be positive. Because if you look at the current situation, the current negotiation, and uh, uh, see the, 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 the major is still on the way, then you will be overwhelmed. But, you know, like in a battle you do not need to win the battle the whole war at this at one time you need to win every battle in order to win the war so in other words uh, to me as a negotiator the most immediate concern is to really to to to, to solve what is there and then the next one until all issues are resolved so in other words i am optimistic that given the situation I have just described, the sincerity of the president and the sincerity of the MILF and the, 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 the compliance of both parties, my vision is that there would be something in store for my people in the future, two years from now. But it could be said, sir, that Normi Swari said the same things. And what, what mechanisms have you put in place to make sh to ensure that the MILF does not go the way the MNLF did? Uh, you know, it's very hard to, to, to tell which, uh, which uh, what, what uh, solution mm -hmm. because uh, it's very difficult because we are a human being. Mm -hmm. there, are, we, there are temptations, mm -hmm. there are temptations. Mm -hmm. And uh, engaging in the public is more difficult than engaging in the, in the, in the battlefield. Yeah. Because here you are bombarded with so many things. In the battlefield, you are only confronting the enemy. <laughs> but here, in Islam, huh, yes. this is what we call the bigger jihad, bigger struggle. About the using, far, using of firearms, the lesser jihad. Yes. Because you are just facing the enemy. But here, you are facing so many things. Yeah. You are a human being. You have feelings. Mm -hmm. huh? You have feelings. And you have been deprived of so many things. Yeah. Uh, you have practically did not anything, but all of a sudden you are in the open, above ground, so you can imagine the difficulty.